Hey there, education entrepreneur. My name is Chris Badgett, and I'd like to welcome you to Lifter LMS. Lifter LMS helps you achieve freedom, impact, and income by giving you tools to, to build a learning platform, an online course, a membership site, and even add on to that coaching and private communities. Welcome to Lifter LMS. Lifter LMS is for online course creators, for online schools with lots of courses and instructors, for membership site builders, for coaches and private community builders, for high ticket program creators that include virtual training as part of their offer, companies looking to do internal training, which is where you use online education to train employees, organizational members, or volunteers, also universities and other teaching institutions use Lifter LMS, and really any business looking to generate more leads through education-based marketing is a good fit for Lifter LMS. So if any of this sounds like you, then Lifter LMS is for you. Lifter LMS is a learning management system that's designed for creating, selling, and protecting engaging online courses. It's also a complete membership site technology. It is self-hosted. That means you own and control the platform. It's your website, which is very different from renting space on a learning management system or membership site tool or software that charges you monthly to have the right to be on their platform. With Lifter LMS, you host it, you own and control it. It's made for the non-technical user. You simply add it to your WordPress website. It is designed in such a way to end what we lovingly call the software Frankenstein. Lifter LMS is a complete le learning management system, membership site, e-commerce, and engagement solution. It's not a clunky tool where you have to create a Frankenstein of different tools made by different companies to make your training platform come to life. Lifter LMS is course creation software made by a team of course creators, technologists, marketers, and teachers. It is the most powerful tool of its kind. There is nothing like it in the industry. By the end of this Lifter LMS quick start course, you're going to have your first course published on your website. It will look like this. It will be available for sale so that you can begin accepting payments for your online course. In this video, you're going to learn how to install Lifter LMS. I'm going to show you three different ways to get started with Lifter LMS here in this video. So the most common way is for people who have purchased one of the bundles on the Lifter LMS website is to head on over to their My Account area of the website. And then here at the top, there's a download link to download the Lifter LMS software. So you can download that to your desktop. And then you just head on over to your WordPress website. You go to plugins and you click on add new. Then you can upload the plugin you just downloaded from your account on the Lifter LMS website. Choose the file. Here it is right here, the current version of Lifter LMS. I'm going to install that. And then as that's installing, I'm going to activate it and then go through what's known as the quick setup wizard. So you can see here a welcome message. And then it's saying it's going to create these four areas of my website, the course catalog, the membership catalog, the checkout enrollment flow, and the student dashboard. So I'm going to click save and continue. I'm operating in the United States, or I could change my country and change my currency. I'm going to enable offline payments, save and continue. 
I'm going to opt in to tracking where some of the, the stats and data on my site is tracked to improve the plugin. And I will get a coupon in the email that I can use on Lifter LMS products. And then finally, I'm going to install a sample course. So this is where my website is going to get a sample course that I can look at. Uh, another way to get that zip file is to scroll to the bottom of the website to get Lifter LMS. Click on free download here. And you can um, read about Lifter and then enter your name and email address to get a download of the core Lifter LMS software to install on your website. This is another blank WordPress install. Another way to install Lifter LMS is simply to navigate to plugins, click add new, and instead of uploading, we're actually just going to search for Lifter LMS. There it is. I'm going to install that and activate it. And you can see here I am again, ready to get started with the quick setup wizard. So that's how you install and activate Lifter LMS. In this video, you're going to learn how to build your course structure or lay out your curriculum. So we just go to the WordPress dashboard of our website. We're going to create a new course. So we're going to the courses area, clicking on add course. And let's say our course is a health and fitness course. So I'm just giving it a name there. I'm going to go ahead and publish that course. And we are going to cover these settings in another lesson, but for now, we're just going to lay out our curriculum. So we're going to go over here and launch the course builder. So the course builder is a tool that allows you to build the structure of your course from one screen. So the first thing we need to do is add a section and then we can add lessons under that by clicking here and let's give our first section a name. We'll call that introduction. And uh, we'll just name our first lesson, Welcome. And let's go ahead and add another section for the main um, teaching. So I'll just call this section, The Method for our health and fitness course. And then we know we're gonna have like eight lessons inside of there. So I'm gonna click this button to add you know, eight or so lessons. And then I'm going to add a final section, which I'm going to call conclusion. And let's say we have a final lesson for telling people what to do next now that they've completed the course. So that is how you create your course curriculum from one screen in the Lifter LMS course builder. And just to give you a quick tour of these, these, uh, what the, all these little tools mean on each lesson, this is where to go to edit the actual lesson content. This is where, how to view the lesson on the front end of your website. You can move lessons up and down. You can also, you know, drag and drop lessons or move entire sections around. Um, you can, you can move lessons, jump all the way to you know, to the next section or previous section. Um, you can remove a lesson from this course. You can trash a lesson from this course. Um, lessons have a lot of settings. Um, you can add assignments. You can add a quiz. Uh, this, this little symbol here is indicating that this lesson does not have content yet. This symbol is indicating that this lesson does not have video yet. This one does not have audio. Um, this lesson is, uh, only for enrolled students and there is no prerequisite or drip content enabled. So these, 
buttons do different things and um, these also light up to indicate you know when you've added content so if you're ever scanning and you just want to make sure you've added content to all your lessons from one screen you can do that so that is a quick tour on how to create your first course and access the course builder to lay out your curriculum, your learning path, your lessons, uh, whatever you want to call it. So now let's take a quick look at what we've just built, how it looks on the front end of the website. So I click view course and this is where you can see our curriculum is coming together. You can see the course outline here. So that's how to get started with laying out your course lessons. In this video, we're going to set up our course and lesson sidebars. So first I'm going to click over on this course and you can see there is nothing in the sidebar area. Also inside the lesson, if we click on one of those, there is nothing in the sidebar area. So let's add our sidebar widgets. So I'm going to go into the WordPress dashboard, go to appearance and widgets. And you can see we have these two widget areas, the course sidebar and the lesson sidebar. I'm gonna add the course progress widget and I'm gonna give it a title of progress. Click save. And then I'm gonna add the course syllabus widget and give it a title called lessons. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the lesson sidebar. I've added the progress widget and now I am adding the syllabus widget. I'm going to make this outline collapsible and display the open and close toggles for the lesson sidebar. I'm going to click save. And now when I go to the front of the website, go to my course, you can see we have the progress widget and the syllabus uh, widget over here and if we click into the lesson you can now see our sidebars are set up and that's how you set up your sidebars in Lifter LMS. In this video we're going to add our course description and our course image. So I'm going to click on edit course and I'm going to type up my description, place it in this box and then over here on the side where it says featured image, I'm going to set my featured image. I could upload a file or grab something I already have in my media library. Set the featured image, hit update. And now when we look at our course, our course has a featured image, a course description that goes with it. And if we go back out to the course catalog, we can now see our course catalog starting together with a starting to come together with a nice featured image there. So that's how you add your course description and course image. In this video, we're going to go over how to add content to our lessons. So I clicked on the course and I can see my lessons over here. I'm going to click on the first one. I'm going to click edit lesson. You can see there's no content in this lesson right now. And over here, I'm going to jump over to my video hosting platform, which is Wistia. You can also use something called Vimeo Pro is another popular option. But all I'm going to do is copy and paste the link where this media file exists on my video hosting, jump over to my lesson, and I'm just going to paste that link here. It's automatically turned into a video. I click update. I view the lesson on the front end and now you can see I have a simple video lesson. Also note that I could add text, images, audios, downloads to that lesson content area. But here we're just demonstrating how to create a simple video lesson. In this video, we're going to set up our course pricing. So I'm going to click on edit course and I'm going to scroll down below the description to this area called course access plans. I'm going to click add access plan and 
and I'm gonna do two options. One is gonna be a full payment for of $1,000, and that is for lifetime access. I'm gonna click save. And then I'm gonna add a, another access plan, a payment plan type. I'm gonna call this one payment plan. And this one is going to be $400 every month for three months. And that's also for lifetime access. So that's a payment, pan, a payment plan scenario. I'm gonna click save. View the course from the front end. And you can now see, as I read about the course and come down, I have two purchase options. I can enroll for $1,000 or I can do the payment plan for $400 a month for three months. When a website visitor clicks enroll, they now go to the checkout screen where they enter their information and their credit card and they buy. And this is using the Lifter LMS Stripe add-on for credit card processing. And that's how to set up your course pricing and access. In this video, we're just going to take a moment and admire what we've built here. We have a fully functioning online course website with our first course ready to go, ready for launch, ready to accept money and get students rolling into our course. In this video, we're going to talk about basic course marketing that you can implement for your launch right away. As we look at the course, while not logged in as the administrator of the website, as we scroll by the lessons, you can see that these lessons are locked and that you would actually have to buy the course in order to access that lesson content. But if we go back to our website as a administrator where we can work on the course, if we want to do basic marketing and literally let the product sell itself, let's make one of our lessons free and available for people to see without actually having bought the course or having a user on the site yet. So let's go to our first lesson. I'm going to click edit lesson. And then down here in the general settings, I'm going to make this first lesson free by clicking that button. I'm going to click update. And now if we jump back over to our website and click refresh, you can see that this first lesson, even though this course is still for sale, I have not bought it yet. I can access this first lesson and get my free sample, which is great marketing. And down here, you can see how this lesson is marked as free and that allows somebody to test it out, make sure that they uh, like your teaching style and are a good fit for the course before they make the decision to buy. So that's how you can get started with some great course marketing with a feature built inside of Lifter LMS. Congratulations on completing the Lifter LMS Quick Start course. We've really only scratched the surface here about 5% of what's possible with Lifter LMS. So head on over to lifterlms.com, click on the features link and explore all the features and benefits of using Lifter and the add-ons. You can also click on add-ons at the top of the website to explore the store that has bundles of products and the individual add-ons available for sale if you'd like to add certain integrations or advanced features to your platform. Thanks for checking out LifterLMS.com. I'm Chris Badgett, CEO and co-founder of Lifter LMS. Congratulations on completing this course. I wish you all the best on your project. Come by and see us at LifterLMS.com.